All right, hello. This is gonna be me remaking, I guess, my uh, tutorials for the slope quitout skips. Uh, I did have two videos prior to this, but I didn't have uh, a voice in them, which might be okay. Um, because I did have some visuals, I guess that was probably good enough. I would say probably. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll figure why not just remaking them in this little style that I've been doing. So. Yeah, uh, we're going to be reviewing the 5-1 and 5-2 slope quitout skips. Uh, I think the... I think they're... Well... There's other situations where it can happen, but... Um, either not beneficial enough or like not really part of the round. I don't know. Like, never mind. Th these are the only two you should worry about for now. Unless something fun is, is fun. So, yeah, this is on top of the 5-1... Uh, um... Archstone, just go up. Just kill these guys so they don't get in the way. Yeah, I'm a clever. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Is that it? I think we're good. Gosh. Okay. So, your landing point is gonna be roughly around, roughly between where the hay, the hay is right there. Let me see if I can get a better look at it. Uh, I doubt it. Yeah, no, it's way too low. But right there, that hay near that item. Uh, and the item. So between the hay and the item is where you're going to want to land, more or less. Um, so what I do personally, what we're going to do first of all is uh, do a load profile or a quit game. Right as you're splatting, basically, on the ground. Um What I basically do is line up my right foot with this plank right here, like that corner, like it would be basically where I, where I fall off. So yeah, I'll, I'll usually just do something like this. And then I'm going to do a quick game so you can see easier where I fall. And roughly the timing. I think it was okay. That should get me to the bottom. It is a little finicky, something that takes a few more tries. Thankfully, it's not something that takes too long to try again, so... If you were lined up on top anyway, you're good. So yeah, that, 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 that's how I usually do it. You can definitely do low game too, just whatever you want. Um, oh yeah, this also works on any version. This specific one, especially. Like, I think for 60 FPS, it's a little bit harder to get... Um, the It's a little bit different to get the timing down. Not Maybe not harder, but it's definitely different, so... Uh, if you're gonna switch between them at any point, you might have to like adjust, I guess. And especially for the other one. The other one? Oh, I mean, I'll get to it in a sec. Here, let me just go back to there real quick and see if there's anything else I need to mention. Oh, where are we? Okay, let me, let me explain real quick what is actually happening. So, what is actually happening is that you're. Your death via fall damage is being delayed by that slope that you actually fall. Because you actually land like on a very like slopey part of that little hill, which is why you can't like do this everywhere. It's only here without the cat ring. Um So That little slope actually delays your death. Like you, you will you will hear the scream and the splat. You will splat, but like your HP won't drain until a few seconds later. So that's why this works. So your delay, your death is delayed a short amount of time, but because you did land on solid ground eventually, like you will gain that new stable position and you will load there instead. So, okay. So, um, I mean, honestly, it's very self-explanatory. Like, I, you can you can either use audio cues or visual cues. Uh, I I probably do a mix of both. Um, just know that in your soul form, you don't do the scream. Like, the scream is what I'm referring to with audio. If you're in soul form, you won't be able to hear that at all, so... Might be in your best interest to, uh... Just do visual, mainly? Have an idea? I guess I can show load profile version. As you can see, it's a lot harder to see, so especially if you're on PC, I would recommend doing a code game. Yes, that was okay. Cool. So yeah, and then you just go over here. 
Kick this down. Go to the fog gate, yeah. So this is pretty much where you would normally go, unless you take that shortcut before. But let me quickly load now the 5 2 skip, which is uh, a lot harder, I'd say. I still sometimes have a little trouble with it. In a deadly way. Okay, here we are. Um, so now your target will be. <laughs> uh, where the item is, I think, like. Pretty much around there, like a little bit behind it, like a little bit to the left, I guess. That's your target, but I, uh, as you can see, it's really hard to tell from even this, so... The best way I can show you is the, uh, the setup, I guess, and then once we get there with this quit out, hopefully you'll be able to see. I definitely do the quit game for this, always. Um, this setup is a lot, like, I, the other one as well, like, I get, those are my setups, like, if you can find something for yourself, go for it. Um... My setup for this one involves you running or walking between these two items, like this one and this one, having my le my left leg, like the foot, kind of just on the edge of it. That's what I used to do, and then recently I started like adjusting my angle a little bit to the left after I get past them, and then here I start to get this ready first, and drop. There you go. So that should have done it, actually. That that seems to work more consistently than it used to, but it's still very wonky. Yeah, so we're good. Then usually I heal here, so... Yeah, just, um... Yeah, just, just, uh, I don't know, just... You, you may have to come up with your own setup for that. I've definitely seen some other ones that are, uh... That are... They actually, in, in some cases, look better. Um, but yeah. Uh, especially for 60 FPS, I actually have never been able to pull off in 60 FPS, but I have seen it done, and the setup is very different. Oh crap, okay, I'm going to reload profile. Okay, so, um... With low profile, I would not recommend doing low profile at all, like, no matter what, like, it, it's, it's very hard to see. Um, it would all be almost entirely be audio queue, and you got a you got a much shorter window to actually do the quit out in this version of the other one. That's that's why it's harder. Um, the slope is very it's much more steep, so you have less time to actually do the quit out. So I kind of hope I can get the bad ways it can happen. Whoop! Too early. <laughs> Too early. I did it before you fell. Uh, because there's there's some memes that can happen definitely. Oh, I mean, that still seems okay, actually. Let's see. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Uh, let me quickly die. I want to I show a quick little trick. If you do die, which is, it's been happening a fair bit, like, this is definitely harder. Um, it, it's also not the worst time loss, I would say. Actually, maybe it's even less, so... Assuming you get it soon. Otherwise, you can probably just, like, run down... Let me just quickly die from poison. Okay. Uh, quick little teaser for something I'll probably cover at some point. Uh, transition warps. Let's see, it worked. Another way too long. Nope, it worked nice. So yeah, there's no there's no edit there. That that was how you do a transition warp. Uh, I'll probably discuss that in a, one of the following videos. But you can do a transition warp there. I'll explain how it works in the next in the other video. Uh, and if that's already out, I'll link it in the ad card now. Um, but yeah, that, that what it just did was transition warp. It works with a lot of small tunnels uh, after a lot of bosses. Uh, although there's only two that are substantial enough to work, and two in which and one in which you can apply apply the in runs. Okay, let me see if I can get the other. Also, I'm I'm in dead I'm dead now, so you won't be able to hear the scream in this mode. It's the only thing I should note about this. Oh, that actually seemed okay. Like that that 
previous method I did, you just walk straight. It's not it's not the worst, it's just like sometimes it doesn't work very well, unfortunately, so. Okay, I guess I guess I'll just have to explain it. So what can happen is that maybe you don't actually like well honestly I can't even tell you exactly what happened. Sometimes you'll hit like this little ledge and you'll die from that. That's definitely bad. Can't do much about that. Although I feel like sometimes you'll you'll grab a stable position. Right, I can roll. Let's try to get back a little bit. Although it's gonna fade out. I think there's a little bit of a ground on top of there that you can actually like that still has a stable position, but not really. So if you slip off, like I wanna say Like right below the little cliff where you actually fall off and you actually touch that, you can save your stable position there, I believe. And you'll just like start falling and you're and reload. And you can't really salvage, I'm pretty sure. Unless if you're super quick to do it or something with a quit game. But I, I've i never survived it, so that's another thing that can happen. It's really annoying. It's it's like, ah, Even if you land over here, like, it'll still something that happens sometimes, so... If it happens to you, that's... that's I think that's why I can't... I, I don't know for sure, but... Something that can happen. Um... If you just decide not to, uh... Not to take this path, let me just quickly show you... The other way you can do it. Okay, so if you don't want to take this path, uh... I, I mean, that's fine. Like... It only it only lose you a couple of seconds, like ten to fifteen or something. I would say maybe. Just go this way. I think you can actually jump off like here. I think right before the enemy is safe. Yeah, just barely. Um, and then just aim for the two items that are about to load. Right there, those. Aim for those items. Uh, and whenever you're in, um, you do the skip. You'll land. Yeah, here. Same thing, just go a little bit straight and then the item should pop up in a second. Uh, those? Yeah, those. So, that's where you need to go next. And then from there you'll go to the, uh, cat ring with the, with Shrek, the swamp lady. The precursor to, uh, Mildred, Man Eater Mildred from Dark Souls 1. Um, yeah, so I just saw her right there, she was... Yeah, she's right there. Yeah, go here and then go there and then... Aim for the item in the back. Yeah, this is actual run. Like I'm just displaying. I'm just showing you the way to do the skip now. So, so yeah. Uh, I hope that's good. Uh, again, I, I'll, I'll take any comments for sure. I'll, I'll see what I can do. If there's anything if people have questions on. Um, th it's also not much to these skips. It's it's fairly simple. Just gotta understand how it works and. A setup that's consistent enough for you, and that's what I got. I mean, I still sometimes mess up the the skip myself, so um, don't got much to to add really. I would just say practice it a ton, see it works for you. Um, yeah. So next up will be. I did put Dirty Colossus. I think I might skip that though. So I guess Main Australia for Magic Route. I think that's what I'll do next. Oh, those are the kind of, I thought she was gonna splat me, like, or like, pancake me. Disappoint! Anyway. Yeah, so I wanna do Main Australia, but I wanna do the Magic Route uh, version because that one's really hard. And Melee, she's super easy, like the boss itself, but. Um. And, and uh, magic, she's tough. So that's what I'll do next. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, have a good day, evening, or afternoon. I'll see you around. Bye-bye.